Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man, you guys know the deal on this channel, we must continue to set the record straight, stop the lies, stop the narratives, stop them from rewriting the history, and hold these guys to a standard, call these fools out, and in this video, we're gonna be calling, calling out LeBron James, for once again, showing fake love, making something about himself. Showing fake love to Jerry West, guys. That's right. This man showing fake love to Jerry West, man. Rest in peace to Jerry West. If you guys don't know, the great Jerry West passed away yesterday, man. And a lot of people sending their condolences out to Jerry West and his family. And of course, LeBron James had to do the same. But once again, guys, this is LeBron James showing fake love to another all-time great that's passed away. LeBron James, I told you guys, he's fake, man. And we're going to talk about it in this video, guys. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states that's been supporting my channel. Once again, guys, I am truly humbled. Truly humbled by all support, man. It means a lot. You guys liking my videos, commenting, sharing it, subscribing to my channel, all this stuff, guys. Thank you very much, man. The true basketball fans are standing up. So thank you to all you guys. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, rest in peace to the legend Jerry West. If you guys don't already know, Jerry West passed away, uh, passed away yesterday. And like I said, man, the NBA community lost a true legend, a true competitor. And you guys know, if you're subscribed to my channel, then you guys know that I have Jerry West in my top 10. So much respect to Jerry West, guys. This is not fake love for me. I'm not fake like LeBron James. I respect Jerry West. And like I said, he's in my top 10. Not many people have Jerry West in their top 10. But I've told you guys that Jerry West is one of the true competitors, man. One of the most clutch time performers. And like I said, man, he didn't have the advantage of a LeBron James. When they bring up his finals record of 1-8 for Jerry West, he didn't have the ability to team hop and to form super teams, right? He didn't have the benefit of the referee whistle, none of this stuff. They didn't bend the rules and manipulate the NBA and turn it into a soft cupcake era. When Jerry West was playing, he played against grown men that showed up to work just like he did. An all-star every single year he was in the NBA. Like I said, man, for me, he'll always be a top 10 player. To me, he's the third greatest shooting guard of all time. So there's no fake love on this channel for Jerry West. I've always respected Jerry West, and you guys know that. But LeBron James? LeBron James ain't never showed no respect to Jerry West. And yesterday, of course, LeBron James felt the need to tweet about it or X, whatever it's called now. And I don't have a problem with LeBron James sending out condolences to Jerry West and giving him his, his respect and his props. I have no problem with that. My problem is with the way LeBron James does these things. If you haven't noticed, LeBron James, everyone else sent out one tweet or whatever they call it now. They sent one thing out, right? They sent a statement out, you know, rest in peace, Jerry West. You know, you'll be missed. You're an NBA great. Whatever people said, right? Everyone had their own little thing. Some people put pictures up with them with Jerry West. I saw Pau Gasol and so many other great players and some of the other NBA players shouting out Jerry West. But if you notice, what does LeBron James always do? He sent out one tweet, at, I believe at like 1030, saying, oh, you know, rest in peace or rest in paradise, whatever nonsense he said condolences to Jerry West's family, right? So he sent that out. Okay. But then what happened? About an hour later, LeBron James felt the need to send out a second tweet, a second one. Once again, LeBron James must make it about himself. This is why he's a disgusting, fake person. He doesn't care about Jerry West. He never cared about Jerry West. Same thing he didn't care about Kobe Bryant. He never cared about Jerry West. When have you ever heard LeBron James bring up Jerry West? When have you ever heard LeBron James big up Jerry West when he was alive? Never. Never brought up Jerry West. He never mentioned Jerry West. Never talked about Jerry West. But then all of a sudden, LeBron James going to send out a second tweet. And in, the, in, a, in a disgusting display, this is what LeBron James said in his second tweet, guys. I'm going to read this off. He said, my mentor, my friend, hopefully I can, oh no, hopefully I continue to make you proud you're already missed. You, you hear that disgusting nonsense? Hopefully I continue to make you proud. Who the hell are you, LeBron James? 
You ain't his son. Why are you making Jerry West proud? Why would you even say that? Hopefully, I continue to make you proud. See, once again, LeBron James, man, exposed himself as a disgusting human being, man, making it about himself. On a day that Jerry West passed away, LeBron James makes it about himself. Oh, hopefully, I continue to make you proud. You're not making anyone proud. You think Jerry West would be proud of you? What you've done to that Lakers organization? You're a disgrace, LeBron James. You're an embarrassment to the NBA. You've torn down the NBA that Jerry West helped to build. You've destroyed the legacy of the purple and gold. It's a joke, man. LeBron James and his fans are disgusting human beings, man. They don't love or appreciate any of the all-time greats. But LeBron James wants to show some fake love to Jay West. And once again, he tweeted out one thing. That wasn't enough for LeBron James. He had to send another tweet out. And I'm going to tell you why he did this, ladies and gentlemen. He saw what Michael Jordan had to say. Once again, yesterday on first take, Stephen A. Smith read off a text that Michael Jordan sent to him uh, about Jerry West, right, to make public a statement from Michael Jordan, directly from Michael Jordan. Remember, Michael Jordan doesn't have social media, guys. Everything he does is directly from his own mouth. He sends these things to Stephen A. Smith. And when LeBron James must have heard this and seen what Michael Jordan said, he had to one, try to one-up Michael Jordan and then make it about Jerry West being his mentor and his friend. Jerry West wasn't his mentor. He wasn't his friend. How was Jerry West LeBron James' friend? And then you say, I, hopefully I continue to make you proud. You're disgusting, LeBron James. Let me read to you guys word for word what Michael Jordan sent out. If you guys did not hear what Michael Jordan said, uh, Stephen A. Smith read it out on, on first take, I believe. But let me, I'm going to read to you guys word for word what Michael Jordan. And then see, you'll see the difference between class, between Michael Jordan and what he had to say and what LeBron James said. All right, it's a little bit, a little bit long, so bear with me, guys. I wrote it down word for word. This is from Michael Jordan. I am deeply saddened at the news of Jerry's passing. He was truly a friend and a mentor. See what I'm saying, guys? You see how LeBron James copied that? Uh, like an older brother to me, I valued his friendship and knowledge. I always wished I played against him as a competitor. But the more I came to know him, I wish I had been his teammate. Could you imagine Michael Jordan and Jerry West on the same team, guys? It'd be insane, man. I admired his, I admired his basketball insights. He and I shared many similarities to how we approach the game. Remember, the approach of the game is very key for Michael Jordan. He will forever be missed. My condolences to his wife, Karen. He named the wife. That shows you he knows him. And sons, rest in peace through the logo. That's what Michael Jordan wrote. That was his statement for Jerry West. Now, as you guys can see, LeBron James trying to mimic and copy Michael Jordan, man. See, this is why he came out with that second tweet. It wasn't good enough that he came out with one tweet to, to you know, put some uh, respect on Jay West. That wasn't good enough. LeBron James had to make it about himself. So what did he do in the second one? He said, my mentor and friend. Jer Jerry West was not your mentor, LeBron James. And he damn sure wasn't a friend. He was an acquaintance. You knew who he was because you're a basketball player. He's an NBA basketball player. You're both all-time greats. You guys were at the 75th anniversary. We get all of that. But to say you're his friend is a lie. And he's not your mentor. He was never your mentor. Look at Michael Jordan, bro, guys. He was truly a friend and a mentor. Michael Jordan sent that out first. And then about an hour later, LeBron James put out that second tweet. Copying Michael Jordan. Once again, trying to make it about himself. Hopefully, I can continue to make you proud. How are you making Jerry West proud? Once again, are you his kid? You're, you're, you're trying to sell like you're his kid. or oh, make you proud, Dad. You sound corny, LeBron James. Corny as hell. You know what's funny? Uh, what's, what's really true about Michael Jordan, and when you read what he says, he talks about, I wish I played against him as a competitor. If you guys remember, years ago, when Michael Jordan was interviewed about stats and all these things and different uh, great players in different eras, Michael Jordan brought up Jerry West. He said, I never got to play against guys like Jerry West because he understood and respected Jerry West as a true competitor. Jerry West is known as one of the ultimate competitors in NBA's history, guys. Mr. Clutch, once again, won and eight in the NBA Finals, but he kept coming back year after year after year. Him and Elgin Baylor battling against the legendary Boston Celtics, man. Jerry West did not team hop. He couldn't form a super team. He couldn't join the Boston Celtics. He continued to push himself and come back every single year. Once again, a true professional, a true competitor. He wasn't walking off the court early. He wasn't refusing to shake hands. He wasn't being a sore loser. He wasn't pouting and whining and crying on the bench. He wasn't blaming Elgin Baylor or blaming Gail Goodrich or this guy or that guy. 
He was a true leader. Once again, he respected the game. He respected the fans. And he played with a love of the game. This is why Michael Jordan said, I wish I played against him as a competitor. But the more I began to, to uh, know him, I wish I had been his teammate. That's pretty profound for Michael Jordan to say that. He wished he was his teammate. And we all know Jay West and Michael Jordan together would have been probably the greatest duo in the history of the NBA. Greater than Pippen and Jordan. Because once again, Jerry West was a really good defensive player, man. One of the great defensive players of his era. But we all know about Jerry West's offensive repertoire. The man had the pull-up jumper. You know, the guy had to consider the guy's jump shot was wet, man. He could pass the ball. He had great playmaking skills. He was a great ball handler. So could you imagine Michael Jordan and Jerry West? Two elite defensive players on the wing. I'm telling you, it would have been a thing of beauty. Both of their jump shooting abilities, Michael Jordan's ability to get to the hole, the leadership of both of these guys, the competitive fire of them, the grit, the toughness. Jerry West didn't have to develop the heart and the grit and the toughness like a Scottie Pippen did. Jerry West was ready to go from the minute he came in the league. A true competitor, an all-around great. That was Jerry West, guys. That was not Scottie Pippen on the offensive end. So I thought that would have been interesting. And also, another thing we have to think about, once again, you see how Michael Jordan mentioned his wife's name, Karen. He mentioned his wife by name. Did LeBron James mention Jay West's wife by name? No, he did not. So that would lead you to believe that Michael Jordan actually knew his wife, Karen. He knew them personally. LeBron James does not know them personally. Why would you not shout, shout his wife out and, say, and send out your condolences to his wife? Because you didn't know his wife. You don't know Jay West like that. You're fake. Once again, you're showing fake love, trying to make it seem like you were closer with Jay West than you really were. He was not your mentor. He was not your friend. You were an acquaintance of his. You knew him. But he was never your mentor. And once again, you say, hopefully I continue to make you proud. It's a disgusting statement, man. Disgusting from LeBron James. I'm, I'm embarrassed from him, man, by him. And let's take it a step further here, guys. You know, when I thought about making this video, and I was like, you know what? I don't want to know if I don't know if I really want to do this because I don't really want to, you know, bring up Jay West in this way. But once again, we must expose LeBron James and hold him to a standard. Like I said, and call this fool out for this nonsense because you're disrespecting Jay West by being a fake person and showing fake love and making it about yourself, LeBron James. Because this thing about this, guys, we all know who one of LeBron James' best cronies is, one of his top media members is, J.J. Redick. Do you guys remember and happen to remember? J.J. Redick and the things that he was saying about Jerry West, Bob Cousy, and the era they played in, the Bill Russells, the Will Chamberlains, all these guys that played in the 50s and the 60s. Do you remember what J.J. Redick was saying about these guys? He was calling them plumbers and taxi cab drivers. Do you guys remember that Jerry West had to come out and basically tell J.J. Redick to shut up? I don't remember LeBron James ever coming out and telling J.J. Redick to shut up. I don't remember LeBron James coming out and saying, yo, J.J., how you going to talk about my man Jerry West like that? He's my mentor. He's my friend. I don't remember any of this stuff. If you guys recall, LeBron James is the kind of guy to like a lot of these things. Gilbert Arenas will say some nonsense on Twitter or something. LeBron James will like it. Kendrick Perkins will say some nonsense. LeBron James will like the comment. J.J. Redick has said stuff like this before, and LeBron James has liked the comments. This is LeBron James, guys. He's all about himself, his brand, his era. He don't care about disrespecting past eras. He don't care about J.J. Redick disrespecting Jerry West. He don't care about this stuff. But now you want to come out and say Jerry West was your mentor and your friend? You sound stupid, LeBron James. Once again, you are so fake, man. I have, I have lost all respect for LeBron James. I have 0.0 .0 respect for LeBron James his, uh, as his career or as a human being, a grown man. I don't respect him. He's a dirtbag for doing this. Once again, you come up with a second tweet to make it about yourself. I hope I continue to make you proud, uh, Jerry West. No, you're not. You're making anybody proud. You're an embarrassment in the NBA, LeBron James. You're an embarrassment to the Lakers. Jerry West would be disgusted with what you're doing right now, throwing his fake love to him, saying you're a mentor. But you didn't stand up for Jerry West when J.J. Reg tore him down. You had no energy for that. You didn't stand up against this. None, none of this stuff. You love when they tear down the past eras and they say these guys couldn't dribble and those guys couldn't shoot. You're talking about Jerry West era. That's why it's fake love. J.J. Reddick is his boy and he lets J.J. Reddick disrespect the past eras all the time. And then they laugh about it on their new podcast. It's a joke. J.J. Uh, J uh, J. Reddick is a dirtbag, man. Once again, one of the most condescending people I've ever, been, I've ever seen. And one of the guys, or a person who thinks he knows everything. He thinks he's smarter than everybody else. He thinks he's better than everyone else, J.J. Uh, J. J. Reddick. Same thing with LeBron James. That's why these two love each other. But LeBron James didn't stop J.J. Reddick from tearing down the 60s. 
and calling these guys plumbers and etc. He didn't stop that. But Jerry West is your mentor? Then why would you allow J.J. Reddick to say these things? Because the funny thing is, it ain't like LeBron James, the kind of guy where he never says anything in public, right? He, he kind of keeps to himself like a Michael Jordan, right? LeBron James is all over social media. He always got something to say. Always got something to say. But he had nothing to say when J.J. Reddick called out the 60s as plumbers and taxi cab drivers. What happened? Bob Cousy had to come out. Jerry West had to come out and make a public statement against J.J. Reddick and basically call him a clown. J.J. Reddick has said all kinds of nonsensical things about the 60s, the 80s, the 90s. Always got something to say. Always disrespectful J.J. Reddick. But LeBron James, that's, that's his boy. He didn't shut down J.J. Reddick. He didn't stand up for Jerry West. But now you want to make it seem like Jerry West is your mentor, your friend? This guy's a liar, man. He is so fake. Who can respect LeBron James? What kind of person backs up LeBron James and supports this clown? Disgusting. If I was Jerry West's family, I'd be like, dude, stop it. You're fake. What Michael Jordan said is true. Michael Jordan always brought up Jerry West. And multiple interviews, I've heard Michael Jordan bring up Jerry West's name as a true competitor, as one of the guys he wished he went against. So Michael Jordan's on the money with this. This is not fake. This is years and years and years of Michael Jordan bigging up Jerry West. Always saying, man, I would love to play against Jerry West. You see the way him and Jerry West interact at the 75th anniversary. Jerry West always shouted Michael Jordan out. They had a mutual respect because, like Michael Jordan said, he was a mentor and a friend, a true friend. This is why he mentioned his wife by name. That shows you right there that he has an attachment, a personal connection with the West family. LeBron James ain't mentioned his wife by name. LeBron James talking about, oh, I hope I continue to make you proud. Once again, making it about himself, copying Michael Jordan, literally saying, my mentor, my friend, hopefully I continue to make you proud. You already missed. That's a corny, cheesy statement, LeBron James. You're a fool, man. I'm so tired of this guy. Once again, where's your PR team? Take this man off of X or Twitter, whatever it's called, man. Take him off of this stuff. Tell him to stop posting things. This guy's an idiot. You send out one statement. Leave it at that. You gave the condolences. Why must an hour later once you tweet again? Because you saw what Michael Jordan wrote and you saw how classy Michael Jordan was and you see how Michael Jordan put. He was truly a friend and a mentor. That was a true statement. Like an older brother to me, he said. Those are the facts. And you could tell by the years of their interaction together, Michael Jordan bringing up Jay West's name. Anytime people ask Jay West about Michael Jordan, Jay West would go off, man. And just, oh man, Michael Jordan's incredible. Jay West always said Michael Jordan was the greatest offensive player and the greatest defensive player at the same time in his era. He says no one else has been able to do that. That was Michael Jordan. That was the level of respect that Jay West had for him. And like you always heard Michael Jordan said, I don't want to be compared to the other guys in the other eras that I didn't play against. Guys like Jerry West. He always brought up Jerry West. He respected him as a true competitor, man. That's what Jerry West was known for. Mr. Clutch. So once again, rest in peace to Jerry West, man. Like I said, he'll always be in my top 10. This is no fake love from me, from Jerry West. I'm not LeBron James showing fake love. You guys know my channel. I've always had Jerry West in my top 10, man. Once again, to me, Jerry West is worthy of a top 10. I'm not saying that he has to be in a top 10 or if you don't have him in the top 10, you're an idiot. For me, Jerry West is a top 10 all-time player. He's worthy to be a top 10 all-time representative of the NBA's history, man. He meant that much. This is why he's a logo, guys. There's a reason for these things. So once again, LeBron James exposed himself as being a fraud and being fake, just like with the Kobe Bryant stuff, just like with the, all the Michael Jordan stuff, guys. It's all fake love. Anytime someone's in the headlines, something happens, LeBron James has to make it about himself. He has to put some light on himself. He has to inject himself into this, right? The Denver Nuggets win a championship last season. LeBron James, oh, I, I might be retiring this year. It's always something for LeBron James. Everything has to be about him. And for him to say that, my mentor, my friend, hopefully I continue to make you proud. You sound disgusting. You sound like an idiot. Jay West was never your mentor. And you guys were never friends. Because if he was really your friend, then you would not allow your real friend, J.J. Reddick, to tear down his era the way he does. Continuously. And laugh at these things. J.J. Reddick is a... Um, I don't even want to say it, man. But he's a piece of garbage, man. He's a dirtbag, J.J. Reddick. And LeBron James is right there with him, man. 
You ain't never showed no love to Jay West. You never bring up Jay West. You never defended Jay, Jerry West against some of these fools. Think about it. It's the LeBron James fan club that continues to tear down the past eras by saying these guys couldn't shoot, they couldn't dribble. That's Jay West era. So I don't want to hear any LeBron James fans trying to show love to Jay West now because you guys are always tearing down the past eras. So damn y'all, this is why y'all ain't worth a damn. And this is why I say LeBron James fans are not fans of basketball. They're only fans of LeBron James, guys. Remember that. And this is proof of this. They always tear down the past errors. And then what happens? The legends start to pass away. Now you want to pay some respect to Jerry West? You didn't pay no respect to the man when he was alive. Same thing with like Bill Russell. All the LeBron James fans will tear down Bill Russell and they'll say, oh, Bill Russell ain't played against nobody. He played against white guys. He only had eight teams in the NBA. They'll tear him down with all those lies and narratives. But then when Bill Russell passed away, then all of a sudden they want to show some love to Bill Russell. LeBron James and his fans are garbage. They're fake, man. They're not real. And they don't respect the history of the game. So damn y'all damn LeBron James trying to show some appreciation for Jerry West. Your fans are disgusting. You and your fans are a problem with the NBA right now. They're the problem with basketball. You can't talk basketball because of the LeBron James supporters and all this nonsense that they say, tearing down past errors. And you can't debate anything with these fools because they really believe that LeBron James is the greatest player of all time. They really believe LeBron James is an actual good person when he's not. Dude, is fake. And this is more example of that. You guys know the deal, man. Once again, rest in peace to Jerry West. Like I said, he'll always be in my top 10. A true competitor, a true NBA legend, man. Michael Jordan always had respect and love. Always showed respect and love for Jerry West for the previous eras, for the past eras. Now LeBron James and his fans, none of them. You think about um Michael Jordan's right-hand man, uh, Ahmad Rashad, in the 90s. You ever heard Ahmad Rashad making fun of the 70s? Or making fun of the guys in the 60s, saying that they weren't that great? The guys in the 80s weren't that great. The guys in the 70s weren't that great. You never heard of Mod Rashad say this nonsense. But LeBron James' right hand man, whoever it is, Rich Paul, Kendrick Perkins, Nick Wright, JJ, Reddick Gilbert Arenas, all these clowns he's paid off, they tear down the errors all the time. All they do is tear down errors with lies and narratives, no facts. Once again, they're not educating you. And they expose themselves right now, trying to show some fake love to Jerry West, man. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.